had good fortune a couple weeks ago to talk to you guys a little bit about flow, and I wanted to try to take another uh, opportunity here to give another visual um, about how improvement works, continuous improvement. But first off, just a slide up here that I came across, um, and this was from a Lee uh, website, and, uh, and, and this kind of talks about improvement and small improvements. And if you read it through, it just says, for the want of a nail, the shoe was lost. For the want of a shoe, the horse was lost. For the want of a horse, the rider was lost. For the want of a rider, the battle was lost. For the want of the battle, the kingdom was lost. And all for the want of a horseshoe nail. A very old proverb, and if you think about it, it applies to what we talk about with continuous improvement. The smallest, the smallest kernel of improvement, for lack thereof, loses the battle, loses the kingdom. So when you're sitting there looking at the wonderful improvements like we see with Trent's doing and some of the other things, you sit there and go, wow, okay, that, that is movement along that. It's that kernel that, that helps you not lose the battle, not lose the kingdom, all right? Um, Frank, Julie, Cheryl, come up for a second. And I need nine of the volunteers. So I'd like you guys line up along here. Get on your brain. You get over here. You can do it by height. Just along here. I'll go along. All right. I've got five. I need six more brave souls. Come on, Nick. Thank you. I need 11 total, not counting Frank. Well, no. We, we should do a nice job for you. All right. One more again. That young man, that, there we go. Thank you. All right. We've talked about the eight wastes. All right, we're going to walk through a mathematical exam. I once was told by places like figures on chalkboard, but I guess it's true now. Um, we're going to walk through a mathematical example of a visual exercise. And to make sure that the math really works hard and it goes well, I recruited our engineering manager. So the math's wrong. Engineering's wrong. What I have here is just a, a, a representation of the cost of the flow through the plants. I'm going to hand them out here. Rosa, first one. Rosa, turn it, turn it, see. Rosa represents material, whether it's plastic, additives, packaging, inserts. That's the material that goes into our product. Jose has wages. That's all the dollars and cents we pay to uh, pay our paychecks and make our homes run. It has overhead, which are supplies, repair parts, gloves, all the stuff to make the plant run. Those are the three normal costs that any business is going to incur. Now we get into the eight ways. Robert gets excess inventory. Steve gets waiting time. Good Bob gets over processing. Julie, overproduction. Cheryl, excess transportation. Laura, the police in motion. Jason, Jason, Jason. All right. Now, since we're both playing here, I have to make you suspend your belief one more time for me. Pretend, pretend, pretend. The customer, which is Kenny now, Kenny's paying me ahead of time for the parts. Oh, no, not until they show up. Why should like I, I pay it? It's Disneyland here. It's, oh, it's fancy. Okay. Kenny's paid me for the parts ahead of time, which we know is a big suspension of belief. But let's work through it. Now, what I'm going to do is start distributing money to everybody based on their jobs, okay? So, Frank, as I hand it off, column one, under each one, write down how much money you've got. that work for you? Yep. All right. By the way, Kenny gave me $18. Okay. 
Then he gave me $18, a little bit 18 right there. All right, the material, we had to pay $3 for Rosa. That's to our members of the the material. $3 to Jose. $2 for Nick. One dollar for Robert, one for Steve, one for Bob, one for Julie, one for Cheryl, one for Laura, one for Jason, one for Tom. Frank, this is what I got. Subtract all that I just gave off. Let me know what we have left. And we're going to test you. Oh, you can do that. You don't have all day. That's true. You can take your shoes off. Uh, what do I have? What do I have left? I had 18 and I just gave up 16. What do I have left? $2. $2, okay? That, in a nutshell, is exactly what happens in the plan every day. Now, let's do this again. I'd like to take your money back. That's right. You're welcome. All right, let's try this again. Ready for count two, Frank? Again, sales, $18. All right. All right. Are you good? $3 for Rosa. Still paying the same price for the material. $3 for Jose for the wages. Nick gets these two. And all the rest of you guys, get the heck out of here. Go away. Bye-bye. All right, Frank, let's do the math again. Very fair. Jim, you want to test the math skills? Whatever. Love it. <laughs> All right. Very simply put, sales number the same. I got paid ahead of time. Hooray, Kenny, thank you so much for being the best customer needs it's ever had. And we want more business with you. But I had my normal costs I have to incur. And all these wastes cost me money. I had to shell out additional dollars that I'd much rather have kept. My business animal, Jim and I had two bucks left. The company has two bucks, so we're going to invest in a new press. It's going to go towards the next uh, Investment in our future. My second example, by eliminating all the waste, I want the two to ten in our pocket to go ahead and save for the future days. We use the example of what Tim went through the other day, uh, on Tuesday, we had the graphs up. Think about this. If our sales went to 16, sorry, right? And we still have three, three, two, one, all the way down. All right. When our sales falls, and we still have all the same waste, that's just what Tim's showing you. We went from two dollars to zero. We do the same thing again here. The Sixteen, the three, the three, the two, nothing here. Okay, keep you busy, Frank. Right? So you can see, even in those following climates, when our sales are decreasing, if we can drive out the waste, if we become more balanced, if we become more efficient, if we get the flow right, I went from nothing to eight. Not, not as good as we've been here. My sales have been up, but I'm still ahead. So mathematically, you see how it works. Hopefully it's a decent visual for you. Think about this. For every part we make, Eventually, that part wants to grow up and become this. And that's what we got to kind of try to think about as we go through our daily routine. This is what we want to get at the end of the day. That's it. Thanks for your time.